Now, we will have a lot of fun. Right now, it's going to be, a, can be, a, a lab can be slightly complex because we will uh, run a sandbox and we're going to look at the result and we're going to also, we need to use sandbox, INSM, and VMs, basically. So, let's see. Part five. We are in the actually very good timing. So sandbox. So on, uh, we will look at now uh, sandbox and one of the sandbox is open source. That is a cuckoo sandbox. And on your lab machine, we have like a version 1.0 installed. And very up to date is like a, a point 1.1. And we will uh, actually use this sandbox, and one of the uh, output result is actually uh, Cuckoo, box, Cuckoo Sandbox uh, generated mic output. As I mentioned uh, before, it, uh, mic stands for malware attribute enumeration and the characterization. So we will look at the, uh, how this uh, mic out, uh, result look like. And not only that, we, I have some uh, different public sandbox results. The uh, report I copied it onto the lab machine, so we will look at you know how these you know, different sandbox results are you know different. So there are basically pros and cons. You know some certain uh, sandbox looking at some of this artifact, but the other one has you know not looking at a certain artifact. So we will basically uh, look at both. And we you know sandbox basically what it does is. Whatever we learned so far, you know, file system activity, registry key, and network traffic, these all of them is basically built into one, you know, one software. So you don't need to do on you know, everything on no. yeah, and you just hold on a second. Um, okay. as we so far experience is actually taking a lot of time to gather these all the events, right? But sandbox we want to generate this you know, event uh, report for you at once. So it is a very good, very uh, first as a first cut tool. So uh, to use so in many cases, actually, it is much faster to use send uh, sandbox rather than uh, you going to the manually grab all the artifacts. And as a result, uh, no, as a result, and one of the example is a threat expert, and we have some report uh, that generated by the threat expert. And there's a threat track, and we actually we will look at uh, the report of all these sandbox. Uh, one thing to uh, make sure. So if you are working on your organization sample, actually if it's, it's the one actual uh, targeting your organization, make sure you don't submit uh, these samples into the public sandbox because usually the uh, the result is available for others, right? So you don't want some. Uh, your organization information released to the, uh, the public. 